Mira Ray, and in this video, I will be introducing you guys to my royal families. I've been playing these families for multiple Sims generations, so we have a lot of very established families and kingdoms. This is actually an updated version of a Meet the Royals video I did over a year ago, so that's why it says season two. But I will explain all of that later because I do just want to go ahead and jump into this video. But if you love The Sims, anything royalty related, drama, and just other fun stuff, I think you guys are really going to like this series because this is a beginning and introduction to technically a new series or the second part of a new series, but you don't have to watch the first part to enjoy this video, so do not worry, but I will just explain everything in this video as well. So if you are looking forward to this video, hit that like button. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and let's go ahead and meet the royals. Okay, so as I mentioned, there are multiple families and multiple kingdoms. I actually have seven kingdoms in total. When I started this series, the very first part of the series, it was just, I think like three families I only had. And I played with one main family. And then just like throughout the series, it just ended up becoming more and more families. You do not have to watch the first season to enjoy this season. I am obviously treating this kind of like a TV show just because it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of story stuff that happens. But if you do want to watch the first season of The Royal Family, I will put a little card in the video here so you can click on that and check that out a little bit later. But for now, this is going to be, it's all the same characters from the first season, but like a new generation has just become part of this series. So it's like kind of got a, like a different feel to it. So in the last season, so Windenburg is our main Royal Family. And in the last season, I started only really focusing on the Windenburg Royal Family, but I ended up focusing more on like other families later in the series. And in this season, the Windenburg Royal Family is probably still our main family. They're also just the most popular because they are based off of the British Royal Family. Although I know, I think Windenburg is supposed to be based off of like Germany, I think is that what I actually heard. To me, it felt more like England, but I've, I've also never been to Europe or England, so I can't say much. That's just kind of what I was envisioning. But this is like the royal family for this game's purposes. And in my own world, they are based off of the British royal family. So I think that's why they're the most popular. So for this video specifically, I'm just going to first show you guys the Windenburg royal family, and I'm going to show you guys them and create a sim. And then we are going, I'm just going to like briefly show you guys the other royal families, but we will get to focus focus on them in other episodes. This is just like an introduction and then we'll actually get to play and like have stories in the other episodes. Okay, so let's go ahead into create a sim. Okay, so, oh, also, so I use a lot of custom content and most of my custom content is on my Pinterest board and the link to that is in the description below. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. So I do use a lot of custom content because there's no crowns in The Sims 4, unfortunately. So I have to download all of them. I do also have a mod to make their names longer because I put like princess in front of their title and you guys will see that too. So that's also also, the link to that is also in the description below. So this right here is King Henry the fourth and it's the fourth because there were multiple kings before him. And I'll show you guys kind of like the line of succession, a succession, I guess, or procession, the, the rulers that were before him. I will show you guys that in this video as well, because I have all of their portraits in their throne room, which is a lot of fun. So this right here is King Henry the fourth fourth. So his father was King George. And in the last season, we got to like see him grow up because he started out as like a toddler or a child, I think in that season. So this is King Henry the fourth. This is his formal outfit. So I'm just going to show you guys like some of just their clothing really quickly. It's like a mix between like I kind of have our own little world. It's like a mix between modern and contemporary, but also some elements showing it's very like historical, not really medieval, but like definitely more modern. Like they use cell phones and stuff. You can't stop Sims from doing that. So this right here is King Henry and his formal outfit. And yeah, the crown is very medieval. This one I don't think is as medieval, but they also have like some of the royal families have their own royal colors. So the royal family of Windenburg is supposed to be purple and pink, but there I, I added pink because there's not a lot of purple custom content and there's like barely any royal custom content that's purple. They have like a like they have this one that comes in in like a purple, but this is a very French outfit. And actually the King of Willow Creek wears that outfit because theirs is more French inspired, whereas this family is more British inspired. So that is why, but so this is King Henry IV. So he's part of our main family. And then Queen Evangeline is his wife. This is actually his second wife. And she's the mother of the three kids that you guys will see the three younger kids, Charles, Bellatrix and Diana here. So Queen Alice was King Henry's first wife. And she was actually 
actually the daughter of the former king and queen of Willow Creek. So she married King Henry. It was an arranged marriage, but they actually really loved each other and they grew up as like friends and grew up together. And she died of hypothermia. Basically she froze to death when her kids were younger and kids. So that happened in the first season. Then King Henry, it took like a long time to get over it, but then he ended up finding Queen Evangeline like years and years later. He ended up remarrying and they ended up having three kids. So that's why she's like the second wife. She's super sweet. She's from Willow Creek actually as well. Her family lives in Willow Creek. She's from a noble family. So this is her formal outfit. I love it so much. So she gets to like actually wear the purple. I have her more in the purple and everything. The crown is gorgeous too. That's also on my Pinterest board. And then next we have our main character in the series, which is Princess Amira. Princess Amira actually wears all black because her sister recently passed away, like, like a couple years ago, technically recently passed away. But King Henry had three kids with Queen Alice, his first wife. So he had Amira, which is the oldest, and then May, and then Kellen, Prince Kellen, who actually became the Duke of Windenburg. And I'll show you guys all the noble families in this video too. So Amira is our main character. She was like super rebellious as a kid and as a teenager, she would get into a lot of troubles and there were a lot of like scandals because she was just very flirty and rambunctious. And then when her sister died, she like completely changed. She became a lot more mature and she's still wearing all black because she's still mourning. Her other, like her father and the rest of the family only recently stopped wearing black because it's been like a very long time since May has passed away. So Amir is actually a young adult and her story we follow a lot. She also recently became the heir to the throne because her brother was originally the heir when he was born because he still followed the rules. Like Windenberg was very old fashioned and made it like a boy who was the heir, but he recently, her brother recently said that he didn't want to become the king anymore and he had his reasons too. So I, we'll get into that in other episodes too. So now Amira is the heir. So when her father passes away, she'll be the one to take over. She's much more mature and responsible and family oriented. She's also like kind of paranoid because of what happened, like losing her mother as a child and like losing her sister recently. So she's just kind of paranoid that something's going to happen to people that she loves. So it's Amira, our main character. And then we have Prince Charles, which is the oldest of Evangeline and Henry's kids. So Charles actually twin, they're twins, Bellatrix and Charles, but he's the older one by a few minutes. We'll probably start focusing on him more as he starts to grow and like in this season in the series as well. So actually that's his warm weather outfit. I just realized they don't have crowns for boys, which is very unfortunate. They, this also doesn't come in purple that I've seen anyway. So if there's custom content that has that in purple, I'd really like to get that. But that's Prince Charles. He loves reading books and he's just super smart and intelligent and he's so, so sweet too. And then his twin sister, Princess Bellatrix, Charles and Bellatrix are so close. They're very protective of each other, even though they're kind of opposites. Like Bellatrix is super active and rambunctious and loves to play sports. So this, I'll show you guys her formal outfit just really quickly. So she's wearing per, I think actually your sister's wearing purple. So I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna put her in the pink dress because I think that's really, really cute. Let's do, let's do this one. I think this is really pretty. This is like the only ball gown I really have, like long dress. I found some other ones, but I wasn't able to download them because they're part of Adfly, Adify. But I love this dress a lot, it's really cute. So that's Bellatrix. And then their youngest is Princess Diana. So as you guys can see, she's wearing the same dress. Princess Diana is the youngest. She only recently just turned into a child. She was a toddler. For for a while, but she is obsessed with Amira. Like you could tell when she was a toddler, she would follow her around everywhere. She loves Amira. She wants to be just like her when she grows up. So that is it's just so sweet and super cute. So yeah, so this is the royal family of Windenburg. So I just wanted to show you guys and create a sim since they're the most popular. I wanted to show you like their outfits and stuff. I'm just going to briefly show you the other royal families because I want to show you some other stuff as well. So the Windenburg royal family is the first family that I created and the first family that I kind of like established. Let's why they're the most established and why I play them the most and why I feel so connected to them because I've just been playing them for so many generations. So they're the first family that I made and then I made the other ones later. But really quickly, so I do want to show you that you can see in Windenburg and some some of the other kingdoms, they have noble families. So like they have a marquis. So this actually is Marchioness Anna and she is King Henry's youngest sister. He has two sisters and I'll show you guys the other one in a little bit. And then we have his son, which is Duke Kellen. So he is actually traveling with his wife right now. They're pretty much newlyweds. Like they got married only a few months ago. So 
they are now the Duke and Duchess of Wittenberg, so they're part of the nobles. And then we also have an Earl and a Countess, and then we have a Baron and Baroness. So they are the current noble titles. It may end up changing. There's supposed to be this royalty mod that's coming out that I'm so excited for. I'm totally going to do a mod review for. So they have like other, like they put titles in there, and I don't know if all of these titles are in there. So some of these titles might end up changing. We'll see. We'll see how it goes and like how the mod and everything turns out. So, uh, oh, and this is also their summer home. So they were living here for a while when the castle was being remodeled, their Windenburg Castle. And I'll show you guys the Windenburg Castle in just a moment too. I'm just going to show you guys briefly the other families first. So the other families that I created was Willow Creek. So this was the second one that I created. They're more French inspired. So like you, like a little bit, like you can kind of tell by like their buildings and stuff. So this is a Willow Creek Royal family. The current reigning king and queen is King Edmund and then Queen Cora, which is King Henry's other sister. So this is the middle child, Queen Cora. She's Marchioness Anna's older sister. So she ended up marrying the King of Willow Creek. And then they had three kids. They actually had triplets. And the oldest one was Prince Louis. So now he's the heir to the throne and he's still living in the palace with his wife, Princess Corinne. And Princess Corinne's actually the main character in my Realm of Magic series too. So if you guys want to check that out, you totally can. And I'll put a link to that as well. So that's Princess Corinne. And then they have four kids, which I was not planning at the time, but their oldest is Prince Cornelius. So he's the oldest. And then they had Princess Genevieve. And then they had two, and they had twin girls, Princess Julia and Princess Elena. So those are their kids. And then they also have noble families as well. They have the Duke, Earl, Marquis, and, Mar and Baron. So that is the royal family of Willow Creek. So yeah, I'm just briefly going to show you guys these royal families so I can show you guys the other stuff, but we'll get to definitely focus on them in like the other episodes of this series as well. So next we have the royal family of Oasis Springs. So Queen Nea is actually the main ruler because she inherited it. But she inherited her title by blood. I think that's the right wording for that. Uh, so this is Queen Nea. She became a t uh, the queen at a very young age. She became queen when she was a teenager because her father passed away when she was very young. So, and her father was the ruler at the time. So her mother lives with one of her siblings right now. So Queen Nea and then her husband is Prince Philip. And then they also have four kids. So their oldest is, is Princess Arya, and then they had Princess Kimberly, and then Princess Aisha. It's actually Aisha, but I forgot to uh, change her name to the longer version of it. So Princess Aisha is their third daughter, and then they have a son, which is Prince Manuel, who you can't see right now because he's an infant. So they have four kids as well, and then they also have noble families too. She had four, she had three other siblings, so they also live around here as well. So that's Oasis Springs, and then the next family we had was Brindleton Bay. So Brindleton Bay was was a newer royal family that was founded kind of like in the middle of the last season. So he is actually Queen Nea's uncle. He found this kingdom because he wanted to marry a commoner and his parents wouldn't let him. So he ended up running away here and King Jared, that's the king, his uncle helped him like find this kingdom and help build it and, and turn it into like this new land for him to become like the ruler of. So that is why they are living here and how he's related to them. So King Jared is the current ruler Queen Nina is his wife. And then their oldest son is Prince Johan. And then their younger son is Prince James. And of course you couldn't have Brindleton Bay without them having some pets. So they have little dogs too. So they're super cute. So yeah, Prince Johan is the heir and he's a pretty main character too. He was definitely a main character in the last season. We'll get to focus on him a little bit in this season as well. We next have, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So when Island Living came out, I created a Polynesian inspired royal family, which was a lot of fun. So this is the royal family of Sulani. Their king, oh, as you guys can see too, for the most part, their last names are like the kingdom names. Oh, the only exception to that is Oasis Springs. I thought it was strange that they had like Oasis or Springs because they're supposed to be like an Indian inspired royal family. It's like them and then the royal family of Glimmerbrook, it's their language version of their last name. Also the royal family of Sulani, they're all mermaids, which is a lot of fun. This series is pretty realistic for the most part, except there were like the mermaids that I added, but they're not like a big part of it. Like the mermaid thing isn't. And then I have like some magical elements mostly shown in my Realm of Magic series. For the most part, it's pretty realistic though. So the royal family of Sulani, so that's King Mahaka, the current king, and then Queen Lokolani, which is his wife. And then they only had one child. So this is Prince Princess 
It's actually Princess Leilana. I forgot to make her name longer. It's Princess Leilana, not Layla. So that's their oldest daughter. And she recently got married to Dean. So he was from a noble family of Oasis Springs. And then they had like this ceremony thing. Like that's part of their royal weddings is they do like this ceremony to turn whoever the person's marrying into a mermaid if they're not already, where they like eat the mermatic kelp. And then they like go into the water and it's this big thing and they turn into a mermaid. So it's a lot of fun. And then they have twins. They have Princess, oh, sorry. I forgot to change, like I forgot to lengthen most of their names. I'll try to do that in the other episode. It's because with the longer name mod, when you use it, you can't use it and create a sim. You have to go into cheats and live mode and, and press rename. But then when you go back and create a sim, they'll tell you you have to shorten their name. So that's why it does that sometimes in case you're wondering. So this is Prince Makana. So he's the oldest and the heir of the twins. And then his sister is Princess Samaria. They're so cute. I'm so excited to see them grow up. And they're mermaids too. So they're cute little mermaids. They're adorable. They don't have noble families, but they do have their family, like related family living around. Like this is the king's mother his father was the one who was the ruler of Sulani or like the chief of Sulani so that is the royal family of Sulani so in the very last episode of the royal family or the season finale of of the royal family of the first season I introduced two new kingdoms and we got to focus on them a little bit in the realm of magic series as well so the first one is Glimmerbrook which kind of is like the main family, I guess, in the realm of magic, kind of. You would have to watch it to see how they all connect. It's kind of like, I explain it in the series. So this is the royal family of Glimmerbrook. Their last name is Guanxi. So that is a form of Glimmerbrook, the word Glimmerbrook in Mandarin. So that's why that's their last name. And that's what they call their kingdom. That's what the natives call it. But everyone else calls it Glimmerbrook because it directly translates to Shimmering Creek, but it's basically Glimmerbrook. So that's their royal family. So the current king is Emperor Zhao and then they have Empress Mei Lin and then they have two twin girls so their heir is Princess Araminta and then her twin sister Princess Anya and they actually hate each other there's a definite sibling rivalry going on with them and then their youngest son is Prince Takashi they don't have nobles technically but these are very well respected families as well that they know so that's the royal family of Glimmerbrook Salvadorada is the last kingdom I will show you guys the other like the castle of, of Windenburg and all the other stuff right after this so thanks like this is just the last kingdom so bear with with me. So this is the royal family of Salvadorada. I do have a mod that turns the world, the destination world into a livable world. So I'll put that in the description below as well. The only thing with that is that when you leave the lot and you're playing from that family, like all of your stuff disappears. So that's why I unfortunately can't like really play from the point of view of this family in this series, but I'm going to try to incorporate them as much as possible. But Salvadorada, I had to make a kingdom. It's gorgeous, you guys. It's so amazing. So this is the royal family of Salvadorada. So this is King Cayman, the current royal ruler and then his wife is Queen Zamora and then he has a younger brother this is Prince Jabari who is currently living with them so he's living with them because he recently got out of a really bad breakup and he was actually engaged to someone so now he is living with him and then they also have family around here too but I'll show you guys them in a second and then Prince Adric is the heir to the Salvadorada throne and then their youngest son is Prince Elon I love this family guys they're so cute and then yeah they have a bunch of family that lives like around here too so we'll see them in the season in the series as well. So that's all of the royal families. Okay guys, so next I am going to show you very briefly the Windenburg Palace. Oh, something I also forgot to say is that there are character descriptions of every, oh, I'm kind of sad that it's like nighttime here. I'm gonna try to like speed through this while I talk real quick. So there are character descriptions of all the characters on my Tumblr. That's also in the link in the description below. There's also gonna be a lot of links down there um, or my username will be in the, in the description below. So there are just uh, like character descriptions cause I know there's so many characters and it might be hard to follow. So that will give you guys a better idea of things. Like the main characters have like actual descriptions with backstories that you guys can follow. So you're not lost throughout the series, but the, like some of the other characters, I'll just kind of like list their name and where they're from really. I think I got most of the characters on there. If not, I'll try to update it as much as I can. But yeah, so that's going to be on my Tumblr. I also have most of the palaces and royal families uploaded on my gallery. My gallery ID is the real mirror ray, or you can search them by using hashtag mirror ray royals. The palaces, I'm not a builder guy. So the palaces, I downloaded most of them from the gallery and then I, I remodeled the inside usually. So I, I kind of link in, in my gallery who the main creator is because I do not take credit for creating all of these buildings and all of these palaces because they're so gorgeous and I did not do them. But I also have the royal families uploaded on my gallery too. So you guys can download them and play with them as well. Of course, they have custom content so they might end up bald and stuff when you like add them, but you can add your own hairstyles and stuff to them. They're a lot of fun to play. Okay, so it's now daylight so you guys can see the palace of Windenburg. So I do 
need to do a little bit of landscaping. I haven't had the chance to do that yet, but I will do that as the series progresses and like the, the try to do it like in the beginning of the series. But this is the palace. This is actually pretty new because I did have a different palace and we said that they renovated it. So the last palace I wasn't too in love with, but this one is great. I actually do have a Royal Palace Tours video, so I will link that here too so you guys can see. So you guys can see like the full palace and we'll see it in the series as well, but I'm not gonna show you guys the full thing in this just because I don't want to keep I don't want to make this video like too long but the main thing I do want to show you guys is our throne room and I can definitely add some more to this I think oh this room is like very yellow so let me just like change the lighting in here okay that's like a lot better this right here is our throne room that's Prince Charles that just walked by so right here we have the portraits of all of the rulers so I had this in the last palace as well and I did put Queen Alice's portrait up here it wasn't up there before but now it is in the new palace and Queen Evangeline is like totally fine with Queen Alice and like the mention of her Queen Evangeline super sweet she knows that that was her husband's like first love and she's not going to fight the fact that she was the first queen so she's totally all for like her being on like her portrait being up here too Queen Evangeline's portrait I need to redo because it's very far away like compared to everyone else's so we'll do that a little bit later but I do want to show you the very first kings and queens or the previous kings and queens of Windenburg. So this one is the very first one. So this is Queen Ravenna. She was actually the evil queen. She was actually a vampire queen. So that's another thing that's not too realistic, but she was a vampire queen. And I have told people this so many times. If I had a dollar for every time I've mentioned that I am working on a history of Windenburg video and haven't been able to come out with it yet, I would be so rich. I am still working on it. I will make, you know what? I will make that my priority now that I've got like like a lot of things kind of like have read up in my schedule I will make that a priority it takes a lot of work because it's kind of like a like a movie like I'm not talking in it at all it's like a very kind of like if you guys know the youtuber Hatsy it's kind of like her videos like that style so I will work on that so I can show you guys because it'll just be a lot of fun you guys can see like the evil queen and her reign and how that all happened so that's Queen Ravenna and then this is King Henry the first so yeah there's like a whole story behind who her actual first husband was you guys would get to see that but technically he's the first ruler so that's King Henry the first then next they had I need to actually see their names because there's a lot of them and I don't remember them in order so okay so next we had King Henry the second so that was the next king and then we had his wife Queen Sybil so those were the next rulers and then we had King Kellen and we had Queen Ilsa so King Henry's son Kellen would have actually been King Kellen the second if he were to become the king of Windenburg but this was the next one so so King Kellen and Queen Ilsa and then we had King Henry the third I'm pretty sure yeah King Henry the third was next and then his wife Queen Ezra and then this is King Henry the fourth father King George and his mother Queen Isabel so those were all of the rulers in the last palace I actually had all of their urns like in front of the portraits too like everyone was pointing out to me and I knew this too they were like it's kind of creepy when you have guests over and there's just dead people's urns just kind of like in front of all the portraits like it's just a room full of urns so I totally understand that so I ended up making a crypt because a lot of my viewers had suggested that so the crypt's actually in the very very bottom of the basement so this is the crypt and I'm going to make sure that I try to copy all of the portraits and bring them down here because I have their urns right here oh their names aren't showing up I'm pretty sure these were their urns though but like like over time I think their spirits just like fade away but this was their urns this was Queen Ravenna and King Henry the first so this is each of the rulers urns so I'm gonna be putting their portraits like right behind their urns too so that will only stay in the crypt so people don't have to be creeped out and then I have like other family members down here too we have Keith or Earl Keith of Windenburg who was related to them and then Queen or uh, Princess May which was King Henry's second daughter her urn I thought was down here somewhere too I don't actually know where it went maybe someone wait no yeah what I do with it no it should still be here I don't know which one it is and I don't want to go through to figure out which one but it should be in here so yeah guys I think that's everything I wanted to show you I I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys. I hope I didn't lose any of you, but I hope this was interesting enough because this is going to be a lot of fun. I love this series. There's a hundred episodes in the first season, so don't feel like you have to watch all of that, but you can if you want to, but there's probably going to be like about a hundred in the season as well. But I know I treat this like a TV show, but it's just going to be, guys, I promise it's so much fun and like people get so into it and we'll get to pay attention to other characters and like learn their stories and learn about them and just kind of see like the royal families and their drama. And it's also just like a lot of fun. 
fun too because it's like a sims game so like weird stuff happens all the time but i hope you guys enjoyed this in the next episode we're actually going to get to play and see all of the storylines and everything too if you already have been with my channel for a long time i'm going to kind of like explain things as i go for like anyone who is new i'm always open to suggestions so feel free to put any suggestions in the comments below just make sure that they are constructive comments if you are doing any criticism don't be mean guys i try to listen to them as much as possible but this is kind of like my own little world and it's just a lot of fun so there's some things that aren't historically accurate but they just make sense in my head and they make sense in this little sims world that we have so it'll be a lot of fun so if you enjoyed this and if you're looking forward to this entire series give this video a big thumbs up hit that like button if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you want to check out my posting schedule i post it on my twitter at mirror underscore and i will see you guys in the next episode bye